Minecraft beta came out roughly 12 years ago, shortly after I had started playing the game myself. While reminiscing about my old worlds early into the game lifespan, I would always get this nostalgia about how the game used to be and how far we have come now. I wanted to relive and get back some of that nostalgia by playing one of Minecraft's earliest versions when many people started playing the game themselves in Minecraft Beta 1.0. I started this Minecraft world as we all do now and by punching a tree and getting some crafting materials to be able to make a crafting bench and get going with all our creative minds at play. Now I had a couple goals in mind for this world. I wanted to collect every single block and item possible in Minecraft Beta 1.0 just to see all that was possible back when I would just make an oak wood box and say I was good to go. So, follow me on this journey. After gathering some resources and getting a bunch of wood, I wanted to start a strip mine and this would also be a little hidey hole that we would live in for the start of the game. I know I was going to spend a lot of time in the strip mine so I decided it would just be best to build a little house in here and this is when I noticed one of the first changes when crafting my furnace. I couldn't click and drag the items in the crafting which I think is my most annoying change that I've seen so far is that I can't click and drag. It makes crafting just super slow and inventory management bad. As you can see I then tried to make charcoal which wasn't implemented in the game yet but I just wanted to make sure that you could still use wood as a fuel source so I just crafted up one stone. This meant I was going to be mining in the dark for the start of the game, which was pretty inconvenient, but it's alright. I used to do it all the time, so it's just back to the basics. After mining in the dark for a couple minutes, I finally got my first piece of coal, which allowed me to make my first torches. This was pretty exciting, but also, as soon as I placed down, I saw a spider come out of the darkness, and he wanted to get some of the torches that I just made. Luckily, that wasn't too bad, even though spiders seemed to be one of the worst enemies in this version of the game. I got away with no injuries, and I continued mining, finally, with light. After caving for a little bit, I realized that I needed to get some food because I'd taken some damage and I had no way of regaining HP. Because there's no hunger bar in this version, you can't just kind of go in with a full hunger bar and still be okay for a little bit. I needed food pronto to where I wouldn't die randomly while caving. While I was cooking my pork chops, I decided it would be a good idea to start a collection of all the items I had so far. I felt like it was going to be a really good idea to try to stay as organized as possible to where we can keep track of everything that we have collected and everything that we are still going to need while going forward. After caving for a while, I finally stumbled across my first diamond. I was pretty excited because I thought I would be able to get enough diamond to make a diamond pickaxe and start an actual strip mine to where we could just keep replenishing our diamond amount. Sadly though, there was only one. Even though I'd only found one diamond, I kept mining and I didn't give up, and that ended up paying off because I found a large pocket of diamonds just a little bit further in the cave luckily, and this was going to be able to let me achieve my goal of making the diamond pickaxe and keep mining. I also wanted to grab some redstone while I was down here because I was actually going to try to do some. I, when I previously played Minecraft beta, I'd never done redstone, so I never really grabbed it, especially with no experience to gain from it. But why is redstone so hard to mine? Why does it take so long? This is kind of ridiculous. Who made this decision? Before I headed back up to the service, I decided to take on the dreadful task of mining obsidian in this version of the game. And shamans weren't coming anytime soon, and the diamond pick is the only tool we're going to be able to use to get it, so we might as well do it now, early on in the game, and get it over with. I wanted enough for another portal and for my collection. I was spending enough time in the mine to where I thought I needed to build a proper entrance. First, it would make me safer when I was smelting or sorting through all my items. Plus, it just looks a little bit better than just having a hole in the ground. And I know we're going to build a house soon, but I still want an entrance to the strip mine because we're going to keep coming back. While I was gathering resources for the house we are soon to make, I saw some snow nearby. So I thought I would gather some snowballs and a snow block to where we could add it to our collection. I finally started laying foundations to our first house. I decided to just go with some oak logs, oak planks, and some cobblestone for the materials we were going to lose. Use. There's not a ton of different choices you have in beta 1.0, but I still wanted to go with something that I knew, and I think it looks pretty good, and I'm decent at making it. So I wanted to get something to get us out of that hidey hole. It's not going to be huge, but it's going to be our home. When I was building the house, I discovered another one of the recipe changes that I had just completely forgotten about and it just seems super weird to me. It's the pressure plate being the same recipe as the slabs are now. Just strange. I was pretty sick of working through the night, so I wanted to finally make a bed to where I could just not have to deal with mobs when I was building. So I got all the materials to make a bed, but then I found out it's not even in beta 1.0. I'm gonna have to wait for beds. 
Because I couldn't sleep, I was restless during the night and I decided it was time to pack up my things and go exploring. I didn't want to explore the world a ton because I was eventually going to update the world after I collected everything, but I still need to collect all that is available now, which means I need pumpkin, sugarcane, and cactus. So I went out during the middle of the night to search for these certain things. After walking throughout the entire night, I finally found some pumpkins in the snow biome, but the sheep was blocking my way to them, so I had to go around and steal the pumpkins from them so that I could add them to my own collection. Shortly after finding the pumpkins, I traveled a little bit farther and I found the sugar cane near the ocean. After gathering it, I was about ready to head back home for the day before it turned back to night. While I was traveling on my way back home, I had noticed something that was actually extremely lucky. I had found a clay blob, which I forgot how rare it was in this version of the game, but I knew I was going to have to grab this now and for us to be able to make bricks to add it to our collection later. To make the second story of our house, I realized that I was going to need a bunch more cobblestone, so I wanted to go strip mining as that was the goal earlier on when I finally got diamonds. So I took my diamond pick and I created a strip mine. Sadly, I found zero diamonds the entire time I was mining. This just seemed super unlucky to me and I don't think I've ever had this happen. I broke a diamond pick while strip mining when I didn't find any other diamonds. I went back home with the materials I had gathered and I built my second story. Upon completing my second story, I realized I had no idea what I was going to put up here. I don't even know why I made it, I just wanted to make it. So whenever we need extra room, you know, we got the space. I thought we had finally waited long enough and I decided to finally build the nether portal that I was going to put in the basement of my house. I had an idea of how I wanted the decorations to go in this little basement, this hidey hole for where the nether portal was going to be, but it ended up being really annoying because the nether portal sound is just so loud. But anyways, we decided to dive into the nether, finally. When I went into the nether, I was pretty much immediately greeted by a gas, which I thought I would be able to kill by sending back a fireball. But first of all, his aim is so bad compared to what they are now. Also, it took more than one fireball to kill these things. I even hit him twice and it didn't do anything. So I decided I was just gonna run away. There's no point in killing them anyways. It's not like I can brew potions or anything. I gathered some materials and then I head back to my portal room to make what I wanted to do in the first place, which was make it almost look like the nether when I went into the basement of my house. After finishing up my nether basement, I decided to go back into the caves. I knew the rarest items that I was going to need on this world were going to be in caves from mob spawner dungeon loot chests. So I wanted to keep doing this, it had to have been a recurrent thing, and unfortunately this chest gave me nothing I needed, but I still got it. Unfortunately though, this cave adventure didn't quite end on a high note when I was mining this coal and I just kind of wedged myself in here, I ended up getting attacked by a zombie. And you're going to see the first of many deaths that I had on this world because I'm just not used to how strong the mobs are in this version. Didn't get discouraged though, went back into the cave, ended up finding some mushrooms a little bit from where I died. So that was a little nice addition to the collection, something that I still needed at the time. So at least I got something out of this cave. When I eventually got back to my base, I decided I wanted to plant the sugarcane to grow some more and get a farm going. I knew eventually I was going to need more paper for decorations, but I realized that you cannot place sugarcane on sand in this version. I don't ever remember this, I don't know if I even tried in the past, but something else I noticed. I also just decided to make the house look a little bit better from the outside at this point. I thought it looked okay, but I wanted to just put some slabs around the top just to spruce it up just a tad bit more. After this, I ended up going back to the cave trying to find some more monster spawners, and I found one! But it still had nothing useful. This is about the consensus with probably 98% of the mob spawners that I found, is that they just have nothing useful and nothing too special in it. After this mining trip though, I felt that I had enough iron and gold to make the blocks that I was going to need to add to the collection. So. I made them up and noticed that the textures were just a little bit odd. I didn't even end up placing them down, but you can just tell they look a little old. I also decided at this point to craft a clock and a compass, which also made me realize how useful compasses were in this version. I had kind of heard it and how lucky I was that I built my house around my spawn. To continue with my collecting adventures, I ended up going into the nether and finding some glowstone, which I hadn't done before. The pesky gas that spawned all over the place made it a little bit difficult, especially with only getting one glowstone per block. It's quite annoying. Also on my way home, I ended up collecting some red mushrooms. This would finish my mushroom collection and it would allow me to make the mushroom stew that I needed, so got that down. 
At this point in the video, I knew I really needed a lot of resources to finish my collection, including all the diamonds I would need for all the armors and all the tools. And then, of course, finding all the mob dungeon loot, which could take literally hundreds of dungeon chests if I got unlucky. So, this entire time I spent mining, I went through countless diamond picks. It took hours and multiple days of mining, but I do eventually get in everything it needs, so it was worth it. After literal days of mining, I needed a bit of a break, so I ended up harvesting my sugarcane and making a bunch of books to add to our collection. I also decided that I wanted to relax by catching some fish. Because I was getting so unlucky with the mob dungeon loot, I decided to try to trap some creepers to be able to get music discs that way. I was still getting a new golden apple, but this could eliminate some of the rarest loot that I was gonna need. So I set up some trap doors uh, around a wooden pressure plate that would get them locked in as soon as they stepped on it. After dancing around for a while, trying to get the skeleton to shoot the creeper through the door, I eventually got him to do it and I got my very first music disc, which is Cat. Unfortunately though, the next situation did not go nearly as well. I also totally didn't like accidentally lock myself into an iron door trap that was meant for the mobs. No player would ever do something that stupid, right? With my iron door traps only being half successful, I went back into the mine to try to find them the old fashioned way. Literally the next dungeon I found, of course, had not one, but two music discs in them and they were both cat, which I had just gotten through the creeper. <sighs> and just to tip things off, I died afterwards. After this experience, I needed another break from the cave, so I listened to my recently acquired cat vinyl, and I started creating some of the things we needed for our collection, like all of our diamond armor pieces. I also set sail on the search for one of the last things we needed from world exploration, and that is cactus. On the way, I did find a dungeon that was just on the surface. It had nothing, though. As the sun started to set, I found what might be the smallest desert I've ever seen in Minecraft, but I got our cactus! When night did eventually completely fall, I decided to go into this cave to explore during the nighttime so I didn't have to travel when all the mobs were out. Unfortunately though, this wasn't the best idea. I ended up finding nothing helpful and I died. This was the first death hundreds of blocks away. I might lose everything. I ran back as fast as I could, and I luckily found all of my items. Nothing had despawned yet. I could not believe it. I was so excited to just take my cactus home. Unfortunately for me, there were some mobs that were trying to stop me from getting home. They were literally blocking my exit. I was taking every precaution possible because I only had three hearts left. I end up killing this spider. I'm like, all right, finally we can leave. And then a creeper literally jumps on my head, and I survived this, and I go, okay. Well, at least I survived that. Now let's go home. And then a spider snuck attack and got me. And I died again. I decided exploring wasn't for me, which ends up being the best thing ever because literally in the next minutes, I found the rarest loot in the game. I had found the golden apple. I was so excited. 
I kept on strip mining, kept digging to where I heard mobs, and it eventually pays off because I also found my last piece of dungeon loot a couple hours afterwards. I had found 13. This meant all I had left to do was collect some small things like buckets of melt and do a lot of organizing to make sure I had collected everything in beta 1.0. In the end, I end up collecting gravel, cobblestone, dirt, sand, clay, snow, stone stairs, glass, fence, ladder, pumpkin, wooden stairs, jack-o'-lantern. I know they look the same, but they don't actually stack, so one is the other. Stone slab, brick, bookshelf, wood, wooden planks, a rail, glowstone, stone, cactus, moss stone, soul sand, netherrack, wool, iron door, wooden door, painting, sign, chest, workbench, furnace, button, lever, TNT, jukebox, block of iron, block of gold, and a block of diamond. That is all the blocks. Now for the items, we have bread, steak, mushroom stew, fish, wheat, raw pork chop, cooked fish, a feather, a saddle, a glowstone, dust, the compass, and the clock, string, flint, clay, snow, sulfur, arrow, mushroom, mushroom, a rose, and a flower, an egg, all the different types of buckets, lava, water, empty, and milk. Sapling, a brick, a stick, a torch, a piece of leather, the mine carts, including furnace and chest, and a boat, an iron ingot, an iron block, a gold ore, a gold ingot, a diamond, a piece of coal, a piece of redstone, a redstone torch, a book, a piece of paper, reeds, bowl, obsidian, music disc, music disc, and the pressure plates. And then, of course, we have all of the tools and armors, including fishing rod, flint and steel, and the bow. And then course we have the golden apple the rarest thing in the version it only has a 0.8 percent chance to spawn in a dungeon chest and we somehow got lucky and obtained it thank you all for watching i appreciate everything and i will see you in beta 1.2